Peter Haddock and I'm here talking all things technology and sustainability at Hexagon Live. And I'm joined by the team from D Morgan. You've flown all the way over here for Hexagon Live. This is Adam, this is Dan, and you guys really have been focused on how you can create a connected work site and how you can deliver for your clients. One of those clients is actually here that I'm going to be talking to, that's Balfour Beatty folks. But tell me a little bit about why you're here and the journey that you've had so far. Yeah, so we're, we're here to, um, to look at the latest technology, the emerging technology, to basically better our business um, and our workflows. Adam and I are part of um, a technology and innovation team at D Morgan, where we also talk about where we're going to decarbonise our business, and part of that um, brings us here today, basically. Yeah, I think we're, we're here to see how we can get efficiency, what new technology there is out there, and actually, because of the wide-reaching business of Hexagon, yeah. we want to understand what other technologies in other parts of their business we might adopt for our business because yes we're here for digital uh, in construction but obviously they're into aerospace mining quarrying whatever so we want to see what other opportunities there might be that we can adopt for our business yeah. and we really want to understand what emerging technology there is take it forward we don't want to be the first adopter but we want to understand what's emerging what we might adopt and take that forward I think what's interesting about that is, you know, we talked a while ago where you were upping your fleet of machine control. You just spoke to me yesterday and you've got new Volvo equipment arriving, all with Leica Joe systems coming, at the, at the brand new Stage 5 type unit. So that in itself is going to add things together, isn't it? So you've got new equipment, machine control, that means from a sustainability point of view, you're all there ready to go. But also it's about then measuring isn't it and tell me about some of those projects and, and the focus on how you're going to get to net zero as well yeah so obviously our plant fleet we um we we refresh yearly we make sure that we're pushing for the, the quality of machines you know the komatsus the volvos we're looking at that kind of equipment spending the money the investment to get the right kit for the jobs you know we're looking at hybrid excavators we've got some coming um, and then that with our machine control, you know, dig once, do yep. it right, you know. Um, we we want to do that. Last time we spoke, we, we, were, we just started using Connex. I was in bed yesterday morning, eight hours behind the UK, and I was on Connex, um, on a dozer, you know, on the phone to the operator, sorted it out, you know. Of little issues done dusted and he's back to work yeah, a job in the northwest you know we were sat in vegas yeah sorting yeah. them out and i mean that's that's connection isn't it that, that's, that's a connected work site oh, isn't it and you're dialing straight in straight to in. that particular yeah. machine with that particular operator yeah. from the other side of the world yeah yeah exactly that it's phenomenal so, yeah. you know he he this this machine is on um a project that um we're on uh, with balfour bt parkside we're here balfour bt are here we've We've already connected with Balfour Beta here and we've had a good chat, you know. Yeah, we, really good we've got chat. some plans going forward which will include yourself. Great. You know, stuff. Um, and, and we're looking at intelligent compaction. Right, the next real level. Yeah. You know, we've seen machine control with dozers, that's that's almost the norm now. Excavators the same, but that intelligent compaction, that follow through yes. on the same MC1 platform allows us to do things even better and the better quality and better understanding isn't it for particularly for road jobs you know? correct yeah yeah, yeah i so. mean you know, the thing i find hard with intelligent compaction is getting buy-in from designers right. i think as contractors as uh, machine operators we understand the potential and we want to embrace it but it's getting buy-in traditional highway specification oh yeah, well we have to do it this way. Well, no, you don't have to do it this way. We need to embrace the future. We need to take on board new technology, get involved, and actually change our mindset to get involved and make sure that this new technology is used to its full potential. And that's and, what we And want. also, once you've got that, once you've proven the point, and that's what you're doing a lot with technology in, in the team, once you've proven the point that it works, clients can see that data, exactly. they can see the impacts and the compaction, literally yes. the impact, exactly, um, yeah. so that they can, you know, they can really learn about how that really impacts their bottom line. Obviously, folks, we're here as well at a time where fuel is going through the roof. Phenomenal. You know, and so you guys coming here to look at other systems and other things 
like like fleet management softwares like telemetry all that sort of stuff that comes into play that allows you to to really look at that cost base and, and see how your products and, yeah. and services are performing doesn't it yeah it does absolutely yeah you know we just want to do it right first time on time as well obviously yeah. you know and efficiency is key so you know. so the, the cost of fuel nowadays is phenomenal and uh, obviously we're a heavy user because we run such a big fleet and it's about being as efficient as we can be yeah. and Unfortunately, the manufacturers that aren't helping us, you know, our target is net zero. Yeah, of course it is. And yeah. we really drive to that, and we find our clients asking us to drive to that, but we're limited by what the manufacturers will do. Yeah. Yep. And obviously, we're taking on hybrid plant now. We are purchasing a few hybrid machines this year, but we are limited by those manufacturers, and they need to up the game, in my mind, to make sure that we're all fulfilling our potential and living up to the sustainability uh, targets and it's not just about the that element as well today you're just about to pop round the corner from here and see the integrated 10 star simulator yes. which has got not just uh, the machine control on it to train it help to train your operators in a safe environment or test new operators uh, and their skills up upskilling people but it's also got my favorite thing the personal alert device gentlemen yeah. and so as I walk too close to that machine if I'm not in the, the view in the proper term Tunnel, then that's going to go off in the cab and vibrate an audible yeah. sound so it'll be great to see you guys testing that out as yeah. well because safety fundamentally everything we do safety is the fundamental key thing isn't it absolutely yeah and we have a very large apprenticeship scheme for plant operators and quantity surveyors and engineers but safety is key um, we have our own um, training school in one of our quarries um, and 10 star you know we're, we're looking at that now and and trying to work out where we can fit that into our business and train our operatives in a safe environment but not only on the using the machine it actually will will um, show them how to actually check the oil yep. check the water things like that that you you know you expect people just to know they need to know they need Absolutely. to learn um, and as well, there's a way of integrating Leica MC1, so we can have the Leica MC1 panel with the machine, and it can be learning the machine and how to control the machine, but also learn the machine control side of it at the same time. So it's kind of killing two birds with one stone, so that when, when we put these, these operatives into the field, and they're not, they're not alien to seeing this machine control as well as obviously operating the machine. So, we're really keen. It's um, yeah, and uh, I mean the, the safety note. You know, if you can't do it safely, we won't do it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. The whole, the whole thing here is, yeah, make things safer, make things more efficient, and let's do it properly. And as Dan said before, you know, right first time, efficiently, safely. Yeah. And so these guys have promised me, folks, and this is on film in <laughs> Hexagon Live, that I'm going to go and get to see that in action with the Balfour BT project, where we're going to be compacting using the latest technology. That's a leadership thing that you're doing. I want to be there to document yeah. that, guys. I'm going to let you go around the show now and yeah. see some of the stuff in action. Great to see you again. Yeah. So I'm looking forward <laughs> to coming back and seeing the guys in action on site with the whole team at D Morgan and Balfour BT with that compaction control. That's the next generation of things that are gonna happen. Great to see you guys. Go off and see some of Thank the rest of the stuff much, in Peter. here. Cheers. Nice Cheers, Peter. Thank you. Cheers. Hello.